Hey there, welcome back to my channel, it's me the Mind Injector. In this video we will be discussing AMC Entertainment's stock and its current situation. If you are someone who is interested in investing in this popular meme stock, then this video is for you. AMC's stock started off the year strong, but recently it has been trading sideways and is currently at around $5 per share. Many investors may be tempted to buy AMC's stock, but before you do that, there are a few things you should consider. In this video, we will be discussing the latest developments with AMC's stock and why it might not be the best investment option at the moment. We will also be looking at what the future may hold for AMC's stock and what you need to know before making any investment decisions. So, let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about the latest with AMC's stock. Back in August of last year, the company created a new class of stock called AMC Preferred Shares. Shareholders received one unit of AMC Preferred Shares for each share of AMC stock they held. A few months after that, AMC began selling additional APE equity units to raise more capital. This complicated fundraising method was pursued because the company was already close to its authorized share limit and couldn't raise more funds from the sale of common stock. The plan was to raise more equity by selling APE stock, then get shareholder approval for a reverse stock split to bring the share count back below the authorized amount. After that, the APE units would be converted into AMC shares and the company could proceed with additional capital raising. Although the company has been thrown a curveball regarding these plans, they have by and large gone off without a hitch. However, management has not come out and said that creating APE stock was a roundabout way to increase the share count without the approval of AMC stock investors. Fast forward to now, Shareholders have approved both the proposed reverse stock split alongside the plan to convert APE stock into AMC stock, although the litigation related issues have yet to clear up. This roadblock may clear up in the coming months, enabling the company to proceed with its reverse split and APE conversion plan. So, what does this mean for AMC's stock? Well, this could be a big negative for AMC shares, especially if the company presumably takes advantage of an increased authorized share count to issue and sell even more stock. Beyond just the fact that converting APE into AMC will enable short sellers to close out positions with less risk of getting squeezed, the dilutive impact of new capital will place additional pressure on the stock. Sometimes dilution is not necessarily a deal breaker. If a company can use newly issued equity to both pair down debt and improve the operating performance of the underlying business, the end result could still be beneficial to existing shareholders. However, with AMC, it's unlikely to be the case. Despite recent reports of strong box office results, analysts still expect the company to report negative earnings for the foreseeable future. A recovery to its pre-pandemic level of fiscal performance remains well down the road. Even if the company manages to re-hit profitability, which it hasn't been able to achieve since 2018, keep in mind that past and likely future dilution could outweigh the positive impact of swinging back to profitability. In conclusion, tread carefully with AMC's stock. While it may seem tempting to invest in this popular meme stock, it's important to understand the risks involved. This is it for this video guys, thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below.